The three strategy card is all about trade goods and commodities. First of all, you get three trade goods, and you can think of these as money in the game. And then you get to replenish your own commodities. But initially, they have no value to you. You can think of commodities as products that your own faction produces and therefore have plenty of, and the same does the other factions. So when you do exchange commodities, then you're actually trading low value products for high value products, and therefore you can convert these into trade goods. And that is one of the ways you can make money in this game. But before you can trade with anyone, you have to be neighbors at the game board, and you become neighbors as soon as you have units or planets adjacent to each other. And just a quick clarification, sitting next to a person at the table doesn't make you neighbors in the game. So for the Imperium player here, the Nasroka Alliance and the Mahak Gene Sorcerers are not yet our neighbors because we don't have any units or planets adjacent to each other. But the Imperium and the Nomad are actually neighbors because the Nomad has moved the crews out here to this beta wormhole and we also got a cruise out here at the other end of the beta wormhole. So the Imperium and the Nomad can actually trade with each other and make other transactions. The first part of the primary ability is to gain three trade goods. And trade goods counts as both resources and influence. There is a one-to-one -one relationship between those. And of course you can use trade goods to buy more units, pay for researching technology, or they can be part of a transaction with one of your neighbors. The second part of the primary ability is to replenish your own commodities, but remember they are of no value to you. So this is where the third part comes into play and becomes interesting, because you also get to choose any other player and replenish their commodities. But before you do this, you should ask if anybody wants to trade with you, unless some other player is falling behind, or him or you are struggling with a strong neighbor, you have no reason to replenish players you're not going to trade with. So those players can use the secondary ability, which is to replenish themselves by spending a command token from their strategy pool. It's not often, at least in my experience, that other players decide to pay a command token from the strategy pool to replenish themselves. So having the trade strategy card and the option to replenish others for free puts you in a powerful position. Everyone at the table is of course interested in getting more trade goods, so this is a good opportunity for you to negotiate something extra in the deal. It could for instance be a promissory note, and the faction promissory notes from the Lysex Mindnet and the Universities of Jolnar doesn't cost those players anything to give you, but they will provide you with some extra value. Or you can try to prevent an attack on one of your systems. For instance, if you don't attack me here, then I'll replenish you and will make a more favorable trade deal for you than for me, simply because that trade could be more valuable to that player than taking your system, especially if you're almost equally strong and you will both lose more than a few units in a space combat. So pick the trade strategy card whenever you need cash to buy more units, or you can use them as influence to buy more command counters. And lastly, there are quite a few public objectives that you can also score by having the trade strategy card, and you can have a look at them here.